Well, starting today, Catholics in the confessional will hear things a little differently. The order of the prayer of absolution has changed just a little to more closely match the original Latin form of the prayer. The change goes into effect today. And joining us now in our studio is Father John Paul Mary, EWTN employee chaplain. Father John Paul, always great to be with you. It's good to be here. All right, so tell us about these changes and, and what does it mean for us? It's not going to be much of a change for you, for lay people coming into the sacrament, because there's matter and form in every sacrament. So the matter in the sacrament of penance is actually our contrition and our confession. So being sorry and the confession of our sins. The form that is the prayer of absolution, that affects the priest. So the form that is said, it's just a closer translation to the Latin text. Okay, you wanna read it for us? So it's just gonna be, God the Father of mercies through the death and resurrection of his son has reconciled the world to himself and poured out the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, may God grant you pardon and peace. And I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So someone that goes to confession often, yeah. they may notice a difference. Maybe someone that hasn't been for a while, they won't notice a difference because they haven't heard these words. Poured, that's a translation of effudit in Latin. It's a better translation. The translation that we're used to hearing now is sent the Holy Spirit. It's going to be poured out the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of sins. And may God grant you pardon and peace. Tribuat in Latin. It's a closer translation to the Latin text. Some of us may be familiar back in 2011 when the Missal changed, a lot of the prayers changed at Mass. It was, a, it was done to more align with the Latin text. That's why we did, had a new translation of the Roman Missal to, be, to begin with. Okay. So now we're receiving a new translation of the Order of Penance. Yeah. Talk to us about why, you know, especially today is the first day of Lent. Um, sure. Why it's so important to go to confession, especially during this time. It's a season of turning back to the Lord. You know, I think Lent is a season that not everything in our life is quite right. Mm -hmm. We all need to turn back to the Lord in maybe big ways or small ways, but it's a time to conversio, a turning toward the Lord uh, in prayer and penance and acts of charity, just changing my heart. There's something that needs to change. Yeah. What would you say to those folks who maybe haven't been to confession in a long time or are hesitant to go? What would be you know, your advice? Sure. Can I address our viewers? Absolutely. Go ahead. Uh, I would just simply say, come back. Um, trust in the Lord, first of all. The Lord has great plans for you. He loves you. And no matter how long it's been, you were away from confession for 10 years, 25 years, 30 years, 50 years. I've, I think I've had every kind of experience in the confessional. Don't be afraid. Just come in and ask a priest for help. If you don't know what to do, come in and ask the priest to help you make a good examination of conscience. And if you're maybe bedridden and can't get to confession, can't get to a church, maybe call a parish. Call a parish and ask for a priest to be sent to your house. Uh, maybe you have been without confession for a couple of years, or maybe it's been longer. Don't be afraid to call. You know, don't let any obstacles be in the way. Sometimes we put up the biggest obstacles in life. We're the ones who become the obstacles. Yeah. Don't come back. Okay. Come back to the Lord. All right. We're out of time. Um, so much more we can talk about. Always love sure. having you on. That's All good, right. Tracy. Thank you so God much, bless. Father. God bless you. Yeah.